Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian and today I have a special video for you guys. I've been getting a lot of requests to play the game Age of Civilizations 2, which is a game that I tried out uh, back in November of 2018, if you guys remember. And I did several videos on it. I did a couple Let's Drives. I did a couple Let's Plays of it. I, I would say I got a fairly good feeling for what the game was like. And then I eventually did uh, uh, an impressions slash review video. And then I eventually um, actually did a discussion video about whether or not Age of Civilizations 2 was trying to copy or uh, clone Europa Universalis 4, right? There were a lot of similarities in like the map layout of the game, the countries, all, all sorts of stuff. And I got a lot of flack for it, actually. I got a lot of people that got really mad at me and they're saying like, oh no, it's, you know, you're crazy. Some people said like, oh, you know, there actually is like too much of a similarity to you for for this to be, you know, the developer's own work, and then other people were getting mad at me and saying I was, you know, a shill, and and that I was just, you know, talking out of my ass and all sorts of stuff, right? It was it was a big controversy on the channel. And, um, you know, I never played the game after that. Um, not because I was like... I mean, it gets a lot of views, I have to admit. The Let's Plays on Age of Civilizations 2 on my videos and stuff, they got a lot of views. Even the discussion video got a lot of views. And, um... You know, I if I wanted views or I wanted money or whatever, I could have just played Age of Civilizations 2. I didn't play it because I didn't really enjoy the game. I, I'm actually still kind of convinced that it was kind of an EU4 clone. A lot of people, you know, argued the point against me and that sort of thing. But I never continued playing the game. I never continued playing the game. I didn't like it. Um, I thought it, I copied EU4. I thought it was just kind of a, you know, a shit mobile game that's just, you know, some copy. I enjoyed it initially. I actually thought it was kind of fun. And then I was kind of diving in and, and take a look at the the you know, the way the countries were laid out and, and all sorts of stuff. But I'll tell you the real reason. Let me, let me get down to the real reason why I, I won't play Age of Civilizations 2 ever again. And I'll, I'll also never be accepting any contact or listening to anything that the developer, his name is Lucas. He will, he'll be referred to as Luke Ass from now on. Luke Ass. I will never receive any contact from this guy ever again. I will never listen to anything he has to say because of what he did to another YouTuber. Okay. You guys all know a guy named Isaros Productions, okay? He makes satire videos, he makes joke videos, he plays anything from Total War, he, he plays a whole bunch of games, right? He's, he just, that's what he does. I personally do not watch his content. I don't really enjoy his content that much. I mean, I don't know him personally as a guy. I mean, I think he's fine. He's a very successful YouTuber, if you've seen his channel. I mean, he's, he's a, you know, he's successful. He gets a lot of views, he gets a lot of likes, all that sorts of stuff. People enjoy his content. I don't watch it personally, but that's just me. So... Back in December of 2018, right, a little bit after I, I released my videos, maybe like a week or two after I released my videos and in my discussion video about Age of Civilizations 2, Isaros Productions, herefore known as ISP, he released his own video, okay? And he was, let's just say he was, he didn't hold back on, on this game, okay? So he, he has a video, and you should be seeing it on screen right now. He, he talks about... Um, you know, the similarities between the game and EU4, he thinks it, you know, it also could be an EU4 clone, you know, he just generally doesn't like the game, you know, and that's, and, and that's, you know, that's his opinion, and he's entitled to his opinion, and, you know, he makes, he brings up some valid points, he brings up some good points, I mean, people were even calling him on Twitter, they were saying that ISP was too, you know, too severe in his criticism, right, he was too harsh, um, you know, people were telling him on Twitter, like, oh, dude, it was made by one guy, you know, it was, uh, you know, he worked on it in his free time and, and, you know, he's trying to, you know, appeal to his fan base. And it's funny because I got a lot of these criticisms myself. People commented on my videos and shit all the time. Like, oh, dude, you're being too harsh on the guy. You know, he made it in his free time. And I'm like, I, I took the same, I take the same position that ISRS production does. If you put a price tag on it, you put that shit on the internet and you give review keys for YouTubers to, to play the game with and review the game with. There are no excuses. I've seen great games made by one person, and I've seen shitty games. And I would say Age of Civilizations 2 is a mediocre, at best, and shitty, at worst game made by one person. I saw his productions had the same exact opinion. Shit, his opinion was probably even more harsh than mine. Right? And he's entitled to his opinion. He's entitled to what he thinks. Luke Ass, as well, the developer of Age of Civilizations 2, is also entitled to, you know, think what he wants and, and you know, have his game resemble whatever he wants it to resemble and he, you know, his game can look however he wants his game to look. But this is the thing. This, this is why I won't play Age of Civilizations 2 anymore. Isaurus Productions, you know, had his video criticizing um, Age of Civilizations 2. You know, it kind of blew up like really fast. It, it blew up and the developer was actually 
calling out Isaurus Productions, not like by name, but you should be seeing on screen, the developer actually made a video of his own that was kind of in opposition to Isaurus Productions, okay? And, you know, he didn't, he didn't tell people, hey, go, you know, call out ISP and, and go be mad at him. But a lot of his fans did that. A lot of people were shitting on Isaurus Productions, not because of his criticisms, right? They weren't refusing, refuting his criticisms. They weren't refuting, you know, what Isaurus Productions' points were. They were just bashing on ISP's character, right? They were bashing. They were saying he was too harsh, that he doesn't know what he's talking about. You know, um, a lot of people were, like, spamming comments on his videos, saying, like, oh, dude, like, you're an asshole, you know. You know, Luke ass, you know, made this in his free time, and he worked really hard on it. All sorts of stuff was was happening, okay? And and this is why I will never play Age of Civilizations 2 or ever comment or talk to Luke ass ever again, is because the idea of a game developer, you know, making a video in response to criticism that, that somebody else has said, like I said, it, it's... It's unprofessional to me. That's what it is. It's unprofessional. When you have a price tag, you have a game, you put it online, you give YouTubers review, co uh, review codes and review keys, you are subjecting yourself to criticism. You are subjecting yourself to satire. You're subjecting yourself to sarcasm. And if you can't handle that shit like an adult and take the criticism, you know, revamp your product, release the product, release an update, release a patch, and change your product, if you're not going to take take it in that fashion, then you are not a professional. You do not deserve money. You do not deserve to be serving products to the public. And this is the thing, is, is Luke asked, that's exactly what he didn't do, right? He, he made, he, he probably saw this video that ISP made. He got really mad at it because of, you know, whatever points were in the video. And he pretty much made his own video refuting ISP and, and making fun of him. I mean, you guys can see the picture that's probably on screen. You know, this guy was, was, was not taking into account ISP's criticisms. He was just refuting it entirely and trying to attack ISP's character. Okay. Like I said, I don't watch ISARS Productions content. I don't watch his video. But I'll be fucking damned if he's entitled to his opinion, which he is. ISP can say whatever the fuck he want. He can make whatever satire, whatever jokes that he wants. That is his right. He has a YouTube channel. People give him review keys. He plays video games. He can think whatever the fuck he wants. The idea of, of some game developer, some professional, calling him out in such an unprofessional manner. I mean, like I said, he didn't explicit, you know, explicitly call him out. But the idea of some game developer, you know, getting all mad and getting all pissy because I saw his Productions has an opinion is just, it's, it's unprofessional. And it's an asshole thing to do, in my opinion. It would be no different if I was playing, you know, Paradox games and criticizing Paradox games and Paradox makes some sort of video calling me out, right? Or refuting my thoughts, my opinions, you know, my criticisms of their products. You guys all know some of their products I really don't play. Some of their products I don't like. Sometimes I don't think their, their content is worth it. Sometimes I don't think that their DLC policy is always the best, right? I've got plenty of criticism about Paradox. But they've always given me review keys. They've always given me keys for expansions. They've always been open in communication. They've never blacklisted me. They've always been constant in their communication with me, no matter my criticisms, no matter my thoughts, because they're a professional game development company. They understand that they are subjecting themselves to criticisms when they post products to the public, when they create these games. And that's the way it should be. And the thing is, is Luke asks, you know, his conduct and into the way that ISP criticized his, his product, Luke asks response was just ridiculous, you know, was, was completely unprofessional. And I don't, I don't want to be associated with Age of Civilizations 2. I don't want to be associated with this product. I don't want to play this product. I will not talk to Lucas ever. You know, I, I even remember he, I think he actually, when I had my um, discussion video about, you know, is, is Age of Civilizations 2 a copy of EU4? I even remember him commenting, actually. Him commenting on my video. I can't remember what the comment was, but it was, it was unprofessional. I actually deleted it. I actually removed it. And it, and it kind of struck me in a way. And it was only until a little later that I learned he had, he had not only seen ISP's criticism video, right, his satire video, but he made a video of his own in response. I think it's actually still on his YouTube channel. It's on Luke Ass's YouTube channel. Uh, I, I will not be posting a link down below because I don't want you guys to view that shit because pretty much it's revenue and, and, uh, and subscribers and views for Luke Ass, and he doesn't deserve them. I will send you a link to ISAR Productions' video because that shit is hilarious. View that video. Seriously. 
the the criticisms, the points, you know, they might be harsh, they might be whatever. You decide. You make your decision. You are the consumer. It's your right to make make your judgments about what game, you know, is good to play or not, whether it's worth the price, whether, you know, points of criticism are valid or not. You decide. But please don't buy the word of the developer when he says, you know, hey, this this YouTuber, you know, is is shitting on my product and don't don't, you know, watch his videos, you know, don't don't follow his criticism, don't take his points into account. Don't follow a game developer that tells you that. That's suspect. That's unprofessional. It's suspect. It's weird. Now, I'm not saying that's what Lucas did, right? I'm not saying he told people to go call out Isaros Productions, right? It's not that's not what he did. To be fair, he didn't explicitly do that. But when you make a video as a game developer and your description and your title look very similar to someone's video who criticized you, it's a little hard to not get the memo, right? It's a little hard to not see the connection that the developer is trying to make and what he's trying to get you to do, you know? When you're making fun of somebody, even kind of slyly, you know, if you're trying to like, you know, be um, kind of discreet about it, it's not hard to get the picture, especially on YouTube. Come on, YouTube is a fucking public place. It's a public domain. Shit. It, when, you're, when you're criticizing somebody or you're trying to uh, refute someone's opinion or, or you're responding to somebody, it's not the hardest thing in the world to see when it's in your description, right? When it's in your title of your video, when it's in your thumbnail, all sorts of things like that. And, and that's the thing is, is, is Lucas's conduct, fuck, not Lucas, Luke ass, Luke ass's conduct was completely unprofessional. And that's why I won't play Aegis Physicians 2 ever again. You know, I've, I've kind of debated taking the videos that I made of Age of Civilizations 2 off YouTube, but I figured, hey, there, there's evidence of what I thought about the game, what I played about it, you know, of the discussion that I had regarding Age of Civilizations 2 and whether or not it's a copy to view for. It's all in the public. I got nothing to hide. So it's there for everybody to see. I could take it down, but it's like, eh, I'm not going to play it again anyway. I don't think there's any harm in leaving it up. If you want to view my videos and get me, you know, ad revenue and they want to comment, they want to like the videos and whatever, if they enjoy watching the videos, that's totally fine with me. It's totally fine. The videos are in the past. I've already recorded them. My thoughts were what they were. But I urge you guys to think twice about playing Age of Civilizations 2. I urge you to think twice about buying it if you ever considered buying it. Um, I urge you to think twice about any future products that Luke asks may or may not release. I've actually last heard that he's not really working on anything right now. <laughs> um, I heard that development stalled on, uh, on Age of Civilizations 2. I don't know. I'm not sure. And I, I really don't care. I don't care about his product or the future of his products or his future. I don't care. I'm just not interested in what he has to say or what he's doing with his life or his career. Anyway, guys, that's the reason why I won't play Age of Civilizations 2 anymore on Adrian Gaming. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this answers some of your questions. Please go talk to Isaros Productions about it. Go see his video. Go see. He's got a lot of tweets that you guys have probably seen in this video. He's got tons of tweets about it, okay? There's, there's ample evidence to show what the developer was doing, what his fans were saying. You know, I, I, don't, I don't think I need to gather any more evidence for you guys. You go check it out. You decide for yourself, you know, if Lucas's conduct was appropriate or not. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much.